Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about biodiversity hotspots. First let's look at the definition. A biodiversity hotspot is a biogeographical region with a significant reservoir of biodiversity that is under threat from human beings. Okay, here biodiversity hotspots is a region, okay, it is a biogeographic region. That region has significant reservoir of biodiversity. At the same time, that region is under threat from human beings through various interferences, okay like industrialization, deforestation, encroachment of the forest areas. So that area having significant reservoir of biodiversity at the same time facing threat from the human beings are considered as biodiversity hotspots. So this concept was given by the British ecologist Norman Myers and two important criteria are available for considering an area as biodiversity hotspots. Okay, And these criteria are the area must contain at least 0.5% or 1500 species of vascular plants that is higher plants as endemic. Here endemic means species which are pre present unique to that area itself which, which is not present in any part of the world. Okay, That is uniqueness of a species to a particular place is called endemism. So that area must contain 0.5% of the vascular plants or 1500 species of vascular plants as endemic and second criteria is that it has to have lost 70% of its primary vegetation due to hum human interferences. Okay, so First is it, sh it sh should contain 0.5% of the vascular plants as endemic plants and second criteria is that it should have lost 70% of its primary vegetation because of the human interferences. So these are the two criteria. At present there are 35 biodiversity hotspots throughout the world. So these regions are facing threat from the human interferences okay and the speciality of biodiversity hotspot is that these sites support nearly 60 percent of the world's plant bird mammal reptile and amphibian species look at the look at the number here only 35 biodiversity hotspots support 60 percent of the uh, various organisms with very high share of endemic species endemic okay unique to that particular area itself so let's look at the biodiversity hotspots a quick look okay so these are the locations of the biodiversity hotspots throughout the world and let, let's look at individually through various continents in the north and central america we have california floristic province in the united states and madrian pine oak woodlands here in us and uh, uh, connected with uh, mexico and mesoamerica that is central america here and in the caribbean we have caribbean islands including uh, the oceanic resources and in South America we have Atlantic forest okay Atlantic forest Cerrado okay in the central South America and Chilean winter rainfall Valdi Valdivian uh, forest okay on the coast of Chile and uh, Tumbis Chaco Mag Magdala I don't know the pronunciation of this so it is present here and tropical Andes so these are all the biodiversity hotspots in the Americas okay both North and South America including the Caribbean islands and in the Europe we have the entire the Mediterranean basin is considered as biodiversity hotspot okay Mediterranean region in the Africa we have Cape floristic region in the South Africa okay and coastal forest of Eastern Africa and Eastern Afro mountain in here and Guinea forest uh, Guinea forest of Western Africa here Western Africa Horn of Africa entire Horn of Africa that is uh, Somalia, Djibouti and Eritrea uh, these are the countries present here and the Madagascar and the Indian Ocean Islands are considered as biodiversity hotspots as well this is the Madagascar and surrounding islands are considered and Maptuland, uh, Pondoland, Albany okay and that is also considered as biodiversity hotspots it's present here and Succulent Karoo that is also one of the biodiversity hotspots and next is Central Asia in the Central Asia, we have mountains of Central Asia, okay, uh, which are present in the countries like Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan. So these are all the uh, countries which are present in this area. And South Asia, in the South Asia, we have Eastern Himalayas, okay, Eastern Himalayas, and Eastern Himalayas, Nepal, okay, and Indo Burma, Indo Burma area, Myanmar, okay, Western Ghats of India, okay, Sri Lanka. And in Southeast Asia and Asia Pacific, we have East Melanesian Islands. Okay, Melanesian Islands is present here. Okay, Eastern Melanesian Island, New Colorado, okay, New Colorado, New Zealand, and surrounding 
islands okay and polynesia micronesia here this this area is the polynesia micronesia and philippines philippines and southwest australia only this part is considered as biodiversity are spots and sundaland sundaland is the region uh, comprising indo malaya peninsula singapore taiwan and brunei so this sundaland is present here okay and wallace here and in, in india we have four biodiversity hotspots first is in himalaya that is western himalayas and eastern himalayas okay western himalayas and eastern himalayas western ghats and north eastern india okay north eastern india and nicobar part of the sundaland okay nicobar part of sundaland as i mentioned earlier sundaland comprising indo malayan peninsula singapore taiwan and brunei so these are all the biodiversity hotspots of central asia south asia and southeast asia and asia pacific next is in asia east asia we have japan japan is also one of the biodiversity hotspots even though it is industrialized country and mountains of southwest china okay southwest china is the biodiversity hotspot and in west asia we have caucasus okay caucasus and irano anatolia okay these are all the areas of biodiversity hotspots please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you thanks for watching